everybody. I haven't did a get ready with me in forever, and I don't know how far we're going to go. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Um, it's my last day of freedom, and I don't know which way I want to go. I attempted to go to the Christmas tree shop on Sunday. The Christmas tree shop in Long Island, um, there's two locations. There's one in Riverhead, which is really out east, far from me. And there's another one in Deer Park at the outlets. And I had to pick up a online order from Torrid. And I said, oh, this is perfect. The weather was perfect. I'll go in the Christmas tree shop. Well, it was packed. The line was out of control. I just hate Rona. I really do. I finally make it. It's a beautiful day, guys. Finally make it to the Christmas tree shop, and the line to get in is like wrapped around. Let me try to show you. We're at the Christmas tree shop, and the entrance is over there, and the line goes all the way down there. So I don't think I'm making it there, but I have to pick up an online order from Torrid. So I, I just. It is what it is, but the weather is beautiful. It really is beautiful. Happy Sunday. So, I wanted to take you guys along, and as you can see, that wasn't happening. So, um, I just got my order, and I went to Dollar Tree. They have a coupon for the Christmas tree shop. I think it's ten dollars off your purchase of fifty, which it's not hard to spend fifty dollars there. I always, you know, I don't take advantage of it. You can go to the Christmas tree shop. My lips look ashy. Uh, three sixty-five. It's not just for Christmas. I don't know why they named the store that, but that's their store. They can name it anything that they want. But um. I don't really take advantage of going there and then we had the pandemic and you couldn't go if you wanted to you know I think at first they were only doing like curbside orders or whatever like that so um I uh I don't know Walmart emailed me and told me that my ornaments are ready remember I told you in my last video I got a 48 count pack of the black Christmas ornaments and I'm going to mix them with all red ornaments and then mix in whatever buffalo plaid ornaments I have. I haven't done a, a theme tree in a while. In a past life, I think I had, did I have black and silver? Or was it blue and silver? I don't, I don't even remember. In a past life. Uh, I've just been traditional. I started the decorations early. First of all, because when you do YouTube videos, now's the time where you're doing your craft videos or whatever like that. And not only that, with everything going on, we really can't go anywhere. I feel like the only place we can go is to the store to spend money. But a lot of the things that I like to do, if you wanted to go out for dinner, drinks, dancing, um, the movies just opened. Um, travel, there's a lot of things that I like to do. You know, it's so restricted now. So where can you go but shop? It's a shame. Which is kind of contradicting yourself, you know what I mean? I'm being lazy. <laughs> I'm just going to try to salvage the brows from the other day as opposed to starting from scratch. I do have to wash my hair. My nails are off. I have to do my nails. Um, I do have to do a load of laundry, so I really don't need to be in the store. I really could organize some stuff in here. As far as shopping for actual Christmas gifts, I kind of know what I'm getting everybody. I mean, I don't have a lot of people to shop for, first of all. I told you the grown man boys get socks, underwear, they get necessities. You know, I might throw in my oldest son. He likes graphic t-shirts. I might throw in a graphic t-shirt or two. 
and I usually like to get them from um, Burlington because they have nice graphic t-shirts for like $6.99, $7.99. I also might throw in a pair of joggers, you know what I mean? Because the young boys, they like to wear the joggers. But mainly, you know, Chunk, I'm practically finished with, except for the clothing. I want to get him some, you know, winter clothing, um, some hats, you know. But as far as the toys, I think I'm done with the toys. I really have to go through that now and see what I have because I started over the summer putting stuff up. But I really don't exchange gifts with anybody else. My mother, I might send money. Um, but there's something that I want to give her this year. I'm not going to say it because I don't know if she's going to watch this video. I don't know if she watches the videos. Sometimes she'll say, I've seen you on YouTube or whatever like that when I talk to her. But mainly my next thing is the craft and sip. So I really, you know, as far as gifts, I don't have a lot. I already know what I'm getting Mr. Fuller this year. I just have to wait for the sale to start. I like how they're doing Black Friday this year. They're doing it like events walmart they had the first event on the fourth they had another event on the seventh i'm waiting for the event coming up this saturday and it starts 12 midnight saturday and you can go to the store at five which i'm gonna tell you i mean if they were worrying about crowds right you're having an in-store event at 5 a.m you don't think you're gonna have people lining up to get inside the store I just sometimes I just question um, the the Rona protocols. You understand? It sometimes it just makes no sense. But on a funny note, I forgot to tell you guys that the Massapequa location that weren't bagging your items for whatever reason that made no sense to me, they now bag your items <laughs> because it makes no sense. I could see if you weren't touching my items. But you're touching my item. So why can't you, um, this is just concealer. Why can't you, uh, bag them? I don't, you're not making sense. Like you're not protecting yourself. You're still touching what I touch and just telling me I have to put it in the bag. Really. It makes no sense to me. So putting up the tree early is kind of like therapy and decorating and stuff like that, you know. I did it last year, the beginning of November as well. And then by Christmas, you're tired of it. And it's like I'm crazy because I complained about storage and then I added a whole nother tree. <laughs> whole nother set of ornaments and decorations. But also, we have a whole nother level. You know, Chunk and... um my son and chunk's mother stayed down here so we you know our living quarters were down, you know upstairs so now we or you know um have a whole nother level which i really like because i i find that i'm at the age where i don't want to be bothered with people <laughs> relatives included you know it's like a little cave i just come down here close the door and I don't see nobody. I hear them. I don't see them. That's that's okay. But, um, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I really don't. I really don't need to be in the stores, honestly, spending money. So I think I'm going to not do that. At least try to. So, this is the stand for the hot cocoa bar. I decided to put it this way. I feel this will give the more support to the top. Not only that, it will create more room on the bottom of the charger plate. And what I'm doing to this is I had bought some gold ribbon from Dollar Tree. And just to decorate this. gonna glue this down just to add some decoration to it 
yeah I'm gonna do it somehow I don't know if I'm going to do it you know going down that way um then those mini reefs I got from Dollar General I'm going to put there so that's what I have to do it's like little things that I have to do for it and I also wanted to wrap lights around that also I thought that would be really cool to put some of the battery operated lights and I have them upstairs but then I was like I'm just gonna buy another set for a dollar it's just I, I don't have the patience to look through that Christmas stuff yet upstairs It never ends and I want to pick up my um, I'm going to get an electric kettle and they Target had them on sale last week a really good sale um, which I procrastinated and missed but they do have another one for like $14.99 so it's just a matter of me getting the kettle because I want to have the kettle set up next to it so I don't have to be worrying about boiling no water for anybody. Um, they could, you know. And that boils water so fast, those electric kettles. So. That's what I want to do. I have to find my setting powder because this is not my setting powder of choice. It's just what's closest to me. I think it's upstairs. I think it's upstairs. I'm not... I don't know. I'm going to try to be positive. But last week, the work week was unbearable. I left Saturday a half hour early. I had to get out of there. I just felt like a caged animal. And I won't say that it was just so stressful and a lot going on. It's just, um, well, Saturday I didn't feel well. I woke up with the worst migraine imaginable. And I don't know, I just could not wait to get out of there. There's a nurse that works for me anytime I need her to. And she's been looking for me to pick up a Sunday night overnight shift. It's only a seven hour shift, but I just don't want to do it. I, 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 and I've told her this, this, you know, nothing personal. I just don't want to do it. Tell them you can't do it, you know, because I just don't want to do it. I just don't have the tolerance. I've, I've been in healthcare nursing for 20 years and it's just <laughs> you get to a point where it's a lot and, and working during a pandemic and all the extra protocols and wearing a mouth a mask for 12 hours sh straight minus my break. It's really I'm like over it. I'm really, really over it. I get it. I get the reasoning why I'm not. I'm not saying they don't work or anything like that. I get it. It's just how long. While I have you here, we might as well review this. This is the LA Colors Lip Stain in the Color Queenship. Not my favorite color, the purple family. It's really not. Um, why didn't they make one in a like a neutral nude or something like that? I don't know. I mean, I can't tell these people how to design their line. But it looks really pretty. So it stays on for hours. I can tell them. Mm. It has a, uh, 
it's pretty. Actually, it looks better on camera than it does in this mirror. I feel like I have to keep going over certain areas. Like I feel it's um doesn't give good coverage. You have to keep, you know. I can tell you guys. I don't know how this is gonna hold up. If you eat something, or drink something, it's definitely looking better on camera than this mirror. So I'm going to let this dry. Maybe I have to let it dry, then reapply. But I feel like you shouldn't have to keep going over and over and over it. But it's it's really not bad. But it does have a text, text sticky texture to it. And they tried to make it scented. And it's kind of... I wouldn't, you know... Like a berry scent to it. I don't know that I would buy it again, to be honest with you. I think that's the only one I bought. And if so, that's a good thing. Because it's not... I'm going to let it dry. Maybe I'll feel differently after it dries. Maybe it just needs to dry. I was going to cook last night and I didn't. I was going to make uh, shrimp scampi over some angel hair pasta and uh, make Mr. Fuller some mussels, but I just didn't cook yesterday. After I did the YouTube video, um, I don't really, really remember what I did the rest of the night. Oh, I did try that. Um, of course, I had a snack. <laughs> I did try that uh, popcorn that I hold. What's the name of it? I don't know. It's down the Christmas aisle with the peppercorn. No, the peppermint bark. That was good. Yeah, that was my dinner last night. And I made a... Uh, Ice coffee with the peppermint creamer. Yeah, that's not really healthy, Erica. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to cook today or get takeout. I don't know. That's the beauty of being kidless. You can do what you want to do. That is the beauty of the empty nest. You can do what you want to do. So I'm putting on my Amazon lashes. I actually at one point had a large amount of the Ioni lashes. And I probably still do upstairs stuff everywhere. Um, but I'm running low on my Amazon lashes. You get 10 pair for... Um, I don't pay more than $10. And this doesn't belong here. They come packaged like this. Um, if you're interested, I could shoot you the link. These last me forever. Um, they're silk. I don't think they're real silk. But they're like a faux mink. And this is my favorite lash glue from Sassy. I mean, I just skipped over Thanksgiving. I'm just talking about the craft and sip. I am having Thanksgiving dinner here, but who's coming? Um, I, <laughs> my mom, I would, I wish she was coming up, but with everything going on, she's not traveling. And um, I invited my sister and my brother-in-law, but, you know, people may want to stay home, you know? So it just might be us and my father-in-law and whatever kids show up.
so I don't know. So it's really like no pressure, you know, no pressure. But I would like to, I do have to do some things upstairs though. But that's why you really don't hear me talking about Thanksgiving dinner prep because it's really no pressure. If I was having a house full and stuff like that, you know, and had to buy a lot, like I already bought my ham. Um, my job gives us a turkey for free. Um, I already have the stuff for the macaroni and cheese. You know, I already have some of the, you know, I really don't have to get much for the dinner. You know, I, that's one thing I hate about this virus. It's like separating families, you know. People are free to come around people are afraid to hug you and stuff like that and um that could be depressing and lonely you know what i mean like i don't know why it hit me last week that you know things have changed you know traditions have changed because of this virus and i and i don't want to sound selfish because people have lost loved ones and i have a co-worker who lost a husband you know, he died of COVID-19 and he was a corrections officer at Rikers. So, I, I mean, I can't compare me feeling sad that, you know, I can't travel like I want to or, you know, my mother's still living. You know, I just haven't seen her, but I am going to make it a point. You know, we were going to try to do a little quick getaway within the U.S., but I think that should be put on hold and I should go see my mom. You know, so I want to do that soon. I don't know if it's going to be before Christmas or right after Christmas. Because her coming up here, just, I don't know when that's going to happen. The lip stain has dried and the tacky feeling has went away. So, I mean, I just feel you need to apply layers of this to to completely coat your lips but I do kind of like how it's darker in other areas and uh, <laughs> you can't satisfy me I had a, a high school boyfriend that told me I was hard to please maybe I am maybe I'm just a difficult a difficult diva whatever you want to call me but um I mean it's a dollar so I crack myself up sometimes because I'd be expecting high-end looks from Dollar Tree Beauty Cosmetics. <laughs> I, why, why can't I? Shoot. I mean, I'm not the one putting these on the packaging, long-lasting, last for hours, and blah, blah. blah. So that's kind of like false advertisement. You set your price point for a dollar. I didn't tell you to uh, sell your stuff at Dollar Tree. So if you put something on the label, live up to it, right? simple I stopped wearing eyeliner I mean I probably I just stopped I don't even bother to put it on and eyeshadow I used to be the eyeshadow queen honey but I just do lashes foundation highlighter if I'm going out, of course, I'll do the shadow, eyeshadow. But I'm not doing eyeshadow to go to Walmart. Or Dollar Tree. <laughs> so, I'm excited about the LA Colors mini pots or beauty pots because this is my everyday highlighter. This is my everyday blush. Now, now you don't want to open for me because I'm on camera. Oh my God, I've been talking for this long. So 
So this is the blush, okay? And this is the highlighter. And look how tiny these are. So I, I really like that they also have the eyeshadows because love it. Easy to put in your purse, easy to travel with, and it's my everyday. I don't contour anymore. I used to, but I just, I don't think I was that good at it. So I don't bother. I mean, where am I going? Dollar Tree? You think people, oh, this Dollar Tree queen, her contour is fierce. People are not checking. <laughs> they don't care. But that's it, guys. Thanks for chatting with me. I really didn't talk about much, so I hope I did not waste your time. I'm just going to think of a game plan for today after I do my nails, because this has to be done. Maybe I'll do a video doing my nails, but I just, the angles, and it's just, it's just, I'm not a professional, guys. That's one thing. I make it look good. A lot of times people think that, you know, oh, you're so great. I make it look great. That doesn't mean it's great. You know? My mother always told me, you got to fake it until you make it. And that's what I do. But that's about it, guys. It's got some glue here. The key with the lashes is using the right amount of glue and waiting for the um, glue to get tacky enough for it to adhere. That's what it is. It took me a year of gluing my eyes shut and all this other stuff, and I finally got it. But hopefully soon, sometime today, I'll have the hot cocoa uh, tear tray assembled, and I could share it with you guys. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.